Toyota released the new generation of the most popular mid-size pickup on the market, and it all looked like the Japanese automaker would continue domination in the segment. However, pretty interesting things are happening these days. As for the first time in years, Tacomas are piling on dealer lots. Is this just a temporary thing? Or maybe the new generation is a bit of a letdown, as some experts have been suggesting. We present you six shocking reasons why the Toyota Tacoma is not selling. Number six prices. We can argue about whether the new Tacoma has met expectations or not, but what's definitely unquestionable is the fact that the new generation has become very expensive. The secret of the Tacoma's popularity has always been in reliability, simplicity, and its straightforward design. And logically, this was followed by affordable prices. That's not the case anymore. If you look at the new prices, the difference is so big that it seems Toyota isn't aiming at the same customers anymore. The base SR trim now starts at around $33,000, which is $3,000 more compared to what the 2023 model used to cost. But that's just the beginning. Already, the SR5 is $5,000 more expensive than the last year's model, and as we're getting higher in the lineup, the gap becomes even bigger. Just look at the comfort-oriented limited trim. Just a year ago, that model featured an MSRP of $42,850. Today, it starts at $53,595, so we're talking about a massive $10,745 increase all in one year. The TRD off-road has become $5,000 more expensive and now starts at around $43,295. Number 5 Turbo 4 Engine Toyota has never been the most fuel-efficient pickup on the market, but its 3.5-liter V6 was super reliable, pretty much bulletproof like you would expect from a Toyota. While the new generation brought a radical change, the old V6 was replaced with a new 2.4-liter Turbo 4. From the moment this was announced, many Tacoma lovers felt disappointed. But after a few months of experience with it, it turns out that they were right because the new Turbo 4 engine didn't solve the most problematic points. For example, it didn't improve fuel economy all that much, but at the same time, the max output equals one of the previous generation's V6. Though we have to admit that the extra torque makes the ride slightly peppier, but at the same time the old V6 was smoother. Not to mention that most reviewers complained about the engine noise at heavy acceleration. Another thing that's hard to explain is why the base SR trim features a detuned version of the engine with just 227 horsepower instead of 278. But all these complaints wouldn't mean much if the new engine offered the same level of reliability and durability as the V6. Number 4. The cabin is still tight. The new generation of Tacoma has become more expensive, but it didn't get much more spacious. Moreover, we only saw minor changes to exterior dimensions, so nothing less was expected from the inside. But once again, the Tacoma is one of the tightest mid-size pickups around. Of course, we're comparing the double cab version, which has brought a 1.1-inch improvement over the previous generation in terms of rear seat legroom. That's nice to hear. But we expected more because the new Tacoma still features less passenger space in the second row than key rivals. For example, the Chevy Colorado is good for nearly 36-inch in this aspect, while the Ranger Super Crew is good for about 35-inch. Finally, the Gladiator dominates the segment with 38.3-inch. The same is true with other measurements, including head and shoulder room, where the new Tacoma still lags behind the competition. That's a bit of a shame, because we really like how the new Tacoma looks from the inside. It brought notable improvements in terms of build quality, while the massive, Optional 14-inch infotainment screen dominates the dashboard and clearly suggests that the truck is crowded with all kinds of advanced tech goodies. Number 3. Towing Capacity We know that the work capabilities of a pickup aren't just about the numbers, but somehow many Tacoma lovers don't understand why Toyota can't keep up with the competition in this aspect. The recent redesign brought more torque, chassis reinforcement, and other things, but for some reason, things went in the opposite direction when it came to max towing capacity. The new generation can tow less than its predecessor. If we can rely on official figures, most trims, including light off rotors, can tow between 6,400 and 6,500 pounds, which isn't a bad number. It's just that the previous generation was able to tow up to 6,800 pounds in the configuration. Moreover, key competitors are still way ahead. The Colorado and Gladiator can tow up to 7,700 pounds, while the Ford Ranger is good for about 7,500 pounds. Even the Nissan Frontier now features higher towing capacity, with the ability to pull up to 6,640 pounds. 
Some may expect the max capacity to increase with the arrival of the hybrid version with its monstrous max torque figures, but that's not going to happen. According to our insiders, these models will be rated at 6,000 pounds. Number 2. Polarized styling and some unexpected technical solutions. Of course, the recent redesign brought a new styling too, and judging on first impressions, it's still unclear whether the crowd is happy with the outcome or not. Opinions are divided, and while some like the more aggressive design approach, others are not excited with the new styling. The latter find it over-designed because they remember the previous iterations were rather simplistic and conventionally designed. A new model, according to many, seems overstated, even generic. Some even call it ugly because of the too many decorative bends and folds and overhangs. For some, it looks too American too Ford like a downsized F-150. But besides polarizing styling, it's also worth pointing out a couple of odd, unexpected technical solutions. Number 1 New Generation Tundra Experience You know how they say that it's not a great idea to buy a vehicle in its first production year? That was a rule for other automakers. In Toyota's case, it didn't matter if a certain model was in its first or thirteenth production year. Every Toyota pickup used to be a safe pick, no matter the circumstances. Well, it looks like times have changed. It looks like newer Toyotas may not be as tough as older models used to be. It looks like the Japanese automaker doesn't live up to its flawless reliability reputation anymore, so even Toyota customers are now waiting for some time to see if a new model is about to show any weaknesses. That's what everyone learned from the current generation Tundra. That model brought some radical changes that it turned out that it's not as impeccable as we expected. A few weeks ago, the Japanese automaker recalled the new 3.4-liter twin-turbo V6, an engine that can be found in the new Tundra and Alex models. Apparently, the engine machining debris may not have been removed, which caused a series of problems, but that's just one problems. Thanks for watching and see you next time.